Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving into the world of parallel programming in c -sharp. If you are eager to turbocharge your applications and squeeze out every ounce of performance from your hardware, you are in the right place. So, before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way, you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, Let's get started. Mastering Parallel Programming in C-Sharp Introduction Session. So what is Parallel Programming? Parallel Programming is the programming to leverage multi-cores or multi-processors of a computer. It is a subset of multi-threading. What does it mean? It means that Parallel Programming is a specific approach within the broader concept of the multi-thread. If you see the diagram shown over here, there are two circles. Bigger circle represents multi-threading and inner circle represents the parallel programming. So that's what I am saying that parallel programming is nothing but the specific approach within the broader concept of the multi thread. Now you must be thinking why parallel programming is needed, right? So here are a few reasons. Number one, harnessing the power of multi core or multi processor system for performance boost. So this is the number one reason why parallel programming is needed. In today's computers, they have multiple cores or processors working together. If we stick to the old fashioned way, of writing programs using traditional multi-threading will miss out on the benefits and won't be able to make the most of the computer's power with its multiple cores or process. It's like using an old map when there is a faster route available, faster execution. Who doesn't love speed? Parallel programming allows for faster execution by spreading tasks across multiple cores, effectively getting more done in less time. Efficient resource utilization. It's about using your resources smartly. So parallel programming ensures your system's potential isn't wasted, maximizing the use of those precious cores. Number two, handling big data and complex tasks. Think about huge tasks, handling large scale data processing or crunching complex computation. So parallel programming steps in as the hero over here. When we talk about the large scale data processing, what does it mean is, let's suppose uh, whether it's analyzing oceans of data or churning through massive data sets. Parallel programming handles these tasks efficiently. Complex computation. Do you have mathematically intense operations? No problem. Parallel programming takes the complexity in its stride. Number three, scalability and responsiveness. Scalability. As your workload grows, parallel programming scales with it, effortlessly handling increased demands, improved responsiveness. User wants responsiveness, right? So parallel programming ensures your application stay snappy and responsive even under heavy loads. So that's why parallel programming is needed. What are multi-core or multi-processor systems? Let's understand the hardware behind it all. So multi-core systems have multiple cores within a single CPU chip, for example, dual core or quad core. On the other hand, multi-processor systems have multiple CPUs, each with its own set of cores, working together often on a single motherboard. So both architectures aim to increase computational power by handling multiple tasks simultaneously. But they do so with different arrangement of the CPU. Now you must be thinking how we can check the number of cores available on our system, right? It's a very easy quick. So here is a quick check. First right click on the start button and select task manager. In the task manager window, go to the performance tab. Under the CPU section, you will see number of sockets, physical processors and number of cores and logical processor thread listed. Over. So let me show you. Okay, so now I have opened this task manager and went to performance tab. Performance tab, if you see, I am seeing this cores, right? Core. My system is quad core setups and sockets is one, base speed is 1.19 gigahertz, logical processors 8, virtualization is enabled. This is the cache details. What is the speed? What is the utilization processor, thread, handles, uptime? All those information we can see at the performance tab. Now the question arises how to measure processor performance. It's all about CPU clock speeds. CPU clock speeds measures the number of cycles executed per second in gigahertz. The higher the faster. For example, a CPU with a clock speed 3.1 gigahertz equal to executes 3.2 billion cycles per second. Here each cycle means billions of transistors within the processors open and close. How to leverage multi-core or multi-processor systems in C-Sharp? So now the exciting part, right? Leveraging this power in C-Sharp. It is as simple as 1, 2, 3. Basically, we have three things in order to leverage the multi-core or multi-processors. Number one, break down tasks. So split those big tasks into smaller chunks. 
Number two, run in parallel. Execute those chunks simultaneously across cores. Number three, collate results. Safely gather the results. So this is the three things by which we can leverage the power of this multi-core or multi-processor systems. So doing these three things is not easy if we go ahead with the traditional multi-thread. Also, the usual strategy of locking with thread safety causes a lot of contention when many threads work on the same data at once. But wait, isn't traditional multi-threading a solution? While effective, it's not always a straightforward. That's where parallel framework extension, that is the PFX libraries, come into the play. It simplifies these steps, allowing us to focus on the business functionality while PFX handles the heavy lifting. Parallel programming using PFX libraries in C-Shop. What is PFX? PFX stands for Parallel Framework Extension. So here, let's take a bird's eye view of the Parallel Framework Extension component through the diagram presented over here. Here, PFX comprises two layers of function. The upper layer, this one, Structured Data Parallelism. It contains P-Link, that is nothing but the Parallel Link and the Parallel Class. The lower layer, this one, right? So that contains the task parallelism classes plus a set of additional constructs such as concurrent collection, slim signaling constructs, spinning primitives, lazy initialization types to help with parallel programming activity. And if you notice, the parallel class together with the task parallelism constructs is called the task parallel library that is TPL. So we will see all these things in upcoming videos. Now that brings me to end of my session. In this video, we have scratched the surface of parallel programming in c -Sup, unlocking the potential of your hardware for unmatched performance. So stay tuned for more in-depth exploration in upcoming videos. That's all for this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.